All right, top of the morning. Uh, the fires in uh, Hawaii. A lot of people don't really understand that. I see a lot of people saying, pray for Hawaii. Every time some type of disaster happens, you have people coming out saying, pray for those people, pray for those people. Most of the people who say that type of stuff, they're Christians. But no one said pray for the black folks who are in slavery or hanging from trees or still getting hung today. You see how that works? So if you ever read the book of Apocalypse of Abraham chapter 30, you would see that these plagues that are happening are for the heathens. So you can't pray for these people because it's already set in stone. You know who who uh, who owns Hawaii. All these plagues that are happening to people, you are... You are all people who took uh, who took part in, in uh, Psalms 83. The Psalms 83 people, if you guys never read Psalms 83, uh, Christians probably have never read Psalms 83. I suggest you go read Psalms 83 and find out if you're one of those people that's in Psalms 83. And see if you are set for judgment. Because once the Most High has sets his eyes on you, there's nothing you can do. Um, the Christian church, the Catholic church... They're all the same. A lot of Christians try and separate themselves from Catholicism. They try and say they're separate, but you don't know your history. If you just do a little bit of research, you'll find out that Christianity is the spawn of Catholicism. And you'll find out that all the wicked acts, if you're a Christian, all the wicked acts that Christians have done through the past centuries, you have now assumed that liability you cannot separate yourself and say well i believe in jesus now it doesn't matter you cannot do that because that's not what the bible says it's like joining a a, a a gang if that gang was known for murdering and killing people and you join that gang then you know then you're known for killing and murdering people also so when you join the christian religion you put a mark on your head the most high has now put a mark on you and you are going to get judged for what your religion and your ancestors has done. And what a lot of people don't like to understand is part of the judgment is for what you've done to black people, to the Israelites. You can you can you can not believe us all you want. You could say, no, black people, they're lying. They just try to be something you could. OK, you should at least research it, though. You should at least research all these black people saying that we're Israelites. And we're the original people. You should you should at least research it. If you just deny it, then you'll get what you deserve. So this fire in Hawaii is judgment. And a lot of people say that um, it was done by energy weapon. Yeah, probably so. Judgment doesn't come in just one form. It comes in many forms. You know, sometimes the Most High he'll make the own people do things themselves. He'll make them set their own cities afire. Cities burning up is a plague that's an apocalypse of Abraham. If you haven't read that book, you need to go check it out. Uh, I know a lot of you Christians, you don't like to read those other books because the Christian church has told you don't touch those books. But are you really going to let another grown man tell you what you can or can't read? Study to... Study to show yourself approved. Your salvation is not in the hands of the, of the Christian church. Your salvation is in your hands and your hands alone. So for you to believe what, what they say and say, don't read these books, you're putting your salvation in their hands because there's, there's crucial information inside these lost books. And if you read these lost books that the Christian church has deemed non-canonical, you're going to miss some vital information that could be the key to your salvation. Shalom.